guess what? What? We finally made it to the Smoky Mountains. You know how I can tell? How? I look out the window. There are beautiful giant mountains in front of us. We they, made it. They look just like mountains. And it's awesome. <laughs> so we are, according to GPS, about 45 minutes away from our campground, which is Gateway, Gateway. to the Smokies. Is that a helicopter? So we're about 45 minutes out from uh, Gateway to the Smoky Mountain RV Park. Yes. We are very excited about that RV park. We are. We booked the premium site. Yeah, we did. I'm really excited to see that. Ooh. And today will probably just be, I mean, it's about two o'clock, so it'll probably be set up and dinner and getting all, everything ready. <laughs> Roll the window down. Roll Hi. Window down. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. I don't know. Cute kid. Have fun! <laughs> you're a goat! <laughs> you're a goat? You're a goat. You're a goat or you're a goat? Yes. You're a goat. Okay, a little kick wave on us. It's probably because they recognize our camper and they know they watch us on YouTube. Or. You know how subscribers That doesn't I mean it can't be it. It could be it. All right, so now it's time to rave the traffic that is the is this. Yeah, I'll put some uh, video of this traffic in right here. It's it's rough. Yeah, and then um, getting to our campsite, getting it up set up. We're gonna get there about three four p.m. three p.m. So we're really hoping to just like we're gonna be here a while. So we're doing the full setup, the full make sure everything's level, all of the all. So. Right, a week. We're staying a week. Yeah. Um, from today, we're gonna leave next next weekend. So I'm excited to put up our lights on the awning. I know that's not what you're excited yeah, about, but that's whatever. what I'm excited. My little hey. flag. I got a little flag for like the front of our camper and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited to just sit down, relax, hang out, do the camping thing. Yep. I am so ecstatic for that. Yep. So. Same. All right. Well. All right. We'll catch you uh, in just a minute or two at the campground. Okay, so we are at site 42 at Gateway to the Smokies RV Park in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We are about 35, 40 minutes outside of the National Park. So this is our campsite. We opted for one of the premium sites, which I think was like $47 a night. Um, very large site, level, paved, fire pit over there, picnic table, charcoal grill. We are right near the exit that's the exit over there um, and then up there that building with the lights is the office the bathrooms and the game room you can see how big and wide these premium sites are they do cost a little extra but it is definitely worth it in the long run You know how he doesn't like to jump up in the truck? Well, he's the same with the camper. He's ridiculous is what he is. Come on. I know better. I know better. There you go, buddy. Go on. He's raising his foot. <laughs> that progress. That back foot doesn't find itself, though. Come on. 
There you go, buddy. Good job. Good Yay, Chippy. All right, guys. I'm getting ready to do laundry. Um, we leave in two days. Um, so we've done laundry once already and somehow it just keeps accumulating. So I'm gonna go in here and show you around the laundry room. There is a code on the door. They give you a check-in. This is the laundry room. So there are four washers. We found the second one has trouble agitating, so we've been trying to avoid using that one. So I've got my laundry going over here. Um, trash can, if you need detergent or any kind of um, laundry stuff, it is here to purchase. So this washer, they all seem to be different. This one was $1.50, but this one has more options on it, so I put it on heavy just because we've been sweating and in and out of the pool and stuff. Normal and hot water, and this one was two dollars, so it was two three fifty for me to do wash today. And then if you come over here, there are two double dryers, so four dryers total. Um, I don't know if this changes. This one doesn't change if you need to change the settings so you can do your wash you can bring it up here to the dryer and it's, um, it's very clean a pretty decent sized room um the table and chairs for you to sit at if you're gonna wait i'm not gonna wait i'm gonna go back to the camper so i've got ooh, 36 minutes about 40 minutes on my laundry and then i will come back up and switch it over to the dryer there are also restrooms up here at the laundry house um, that have the same kind of pin pad and all of the doors with the pin pads on them have the same codes. Gateway to the Smokies is a veteran and family owned and operated campground that opened in 2019. Located less than a mile off the main parkway, this campground is minutes away from adventures in Great Smoky Mountain National Park, as well as Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. With 70 RV sites and nine cabins, Gateway offers the ultimate camping experience with first-rate amenities and top-rate service. Amenities include a swimming pool, wading pool, cable, Wi-Fi, two shower facilities, playground, basketball court, laundry facilities, horseshoes, dog park, camp store, and game room. Check-in is at 2 p.m. and check-out is at 11 a.m. One night deposit is required at the time of reservation. Final balance due on your arrival day. Cancellation is available seven days prior to check-in, less a 15% cancellation fee. All sites are equipped with water, sewer, electric, and cable. Select sites can fit up to 40-foot RVs. Site pricing is based on an occupancy of five guests. Additional guests are $3 a night. The maximum number of guests for a campsite is 10. Cabin pricing is based on an occupancy of four. Additional guests are $5 a night. The maximum number of guests per cabin is six. So this is the porch around the back of the store. They have a pamphlets. Some of them have coupons on them, so make sure you come and check that out. All the nearby attractions. And then if you come over here to the side of the general store, this is where the restrooms and showers are. Big happy bear. Vending machine, and this has the same um, code as the laundry. So, there is one unisex bathroom and I believe two showers. Here's your shower. We found that it is pretty small, not much bigger than our RV shower, but you know, showering up here doesn't give you water in your tanks and 
the room is much bigger. Very clean. You can see they just cleaned. Nobody's been in here yet. So, very clean. Nice and big shower. So there's two of these. One bathroom up here, and it's nice and air conditioned. It's the other one. They're both exactly the same. If you don't want to shower in your RV or if you're tent camping, you can come and use these free of charge. Oh, oh, whose dog is that? <laughs> Get control of your dog, Michelle. Jeez. Gateway to the Smokies is located on the Pigeon Forge trolley loop. With over 100 stops throughout Pigeon Forge and Sevierville, there is something for everyone to enjoy. Pricing for a site at Gateway to the Smokies is as follows. For a standard site with a gravel pad, it is $51.64 a night. For a premium site with a concrete pad, it's $68.47 a night. The A-frame cabins include two full beds, a fridge, and a microwave, but no bathroom, and are $74.89 a night. The larger log cabins include a bathroom and kitchen, queen bed, and a loft for $151 a night. We really enjoyed our stay at Gateway to the Smokies. We don't have many complaints at all. It was close to everything that we wanted to explore when we were in the Smoky Mountains. The pros that we found for this campground were large, clean campsites, close proximity to all the activities, very friendly staff, lots of amenities, family-friendly atmosphere, and the campground itself was very quiet. There were a few cons to this campground for us. Um, the first one would be no scenic views. We really love being able to wake up to a nice view when we were camping. And this campground was in a very wooded area. The road leading up to the campground is very narrow. Pricing is on the higher side. Uh, it's equivalent with a KOA. So keep that in mind. And the playground and pool area were very close to the main road. Even though there was a fence in between, it was still a little bit too close for comfort for me with small kids. Overall, we loved this campground and hope to visit again in the future. They are expanding and adding more sites, hoping for these sites to be available in summer 2023. We hope you liked our video. We hope it was informative and in helping you make a decision on a campground when you visit the Smoky Mountains. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.